hello and welcome to the channel if you haven't done so already make sure to like and subscribe really appreciate it now this makes absolutely no sense at all makes no sense to me at all what well, well, why so supposedly subaru has decided this is the most logical thing for them to do hey let's make the new Solterra sti nobody can ask for that nobody asked for it nobody wants it the Solteras I don't even see it on the road honestly I see zero Solteras on the road I've seen a few BZ4X's but I have seen none of that car zero and, and they want to make an STI version why not just make the STI WRX at least one more time before you go full EV. But no, this is they decided this is the decision. This is the route that they want to go. And I am just, if there's a wall here, I would put my head to it and, and hit it because it, this makes absolutely no sense. Nobody fucking wants it. But the upside is this is for the Japanese market. So maybe it'll sell well over there. But to me, this is... <laughs> uh, let's 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 go let's go get into this let's go to the uh, to the story let's read the article maybe there's some good information there but from just looking at it the way that it looks it looks like a fucking saltera with some body with some you know front lip side skirts and a rear and a rear skirt or whatever that's it and then the big wing that says sti fucking useless and rims Ooh, who's making these decisions they need to go they need to they need to get fired i'm sorry but they need to go i think toyota made a you know they did the right thing when they transitioned into their new ceo and he's doing all the right things but whoever is running subaru he needs to go this guy is not an enthusiast this guy doesn't love cars this guy needs to go whoever is running it i don't give a fuck he needs to go this is <sighs> but anyways let's let's go and get in the article super disappointed by the way super all right so here here we go shifting priorities at subaru in the global market means that japanese automaker has put less effort into maintaining its rally legend personalities in recent years and more into building a brand known for SUVs and EVs. But my thing is, when you're starting off in EV and you never made a fully electric vehicle, why not start with something smaller? Start with like, I don't know, turn the legacy into an electric vehicle. Take one of the WRX and turn that into like a a sport, <laughs> I don't know, maybe make the hatchback, bring back the hatchbacks, maybe an Impreza hatchback EV, I don't know, why have they decided to go this route? You wanna start small and then go big. And then they wanna put this, uh, oh. <sighs> but now it looks like those two worlds could be about to collide because Subaru is getting ready to unleash a Solterra STI. I'm like, why, who the fuck wants this piece of garbage? That's according to Japanese magazine Best Car, which claims an STI model will be added to the electric SUV lineup in the summer of 2024. Nobody asked for it. These cars aren't even selling. I have not seen one in actual, like, driving out there. I've not seen a single cell terror. I've seen, like, the BZ4Xs and all the other EVs that other companies are making, but I have not seen one outside of, like, car shows, you know, like the LA Auto Show and stuff like that. But other than that, I've seen zero cell terror. This news isn't totally unexpected, at least not to anyone. Remember that Subaru showed a Solterra STI concept seen in the image on this post at the Tokyo show back in 2022. The blue show car featured a red highlight across its splitter sidecars, blah, blah, blah. So nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. If Subaru does create a Solterra STI, it might not be in the mold of STI's old, the JDM STI version of current WRX. For instance, 
It's only a trim package and offers no more power than the stock WRX, but it will be a stretch to apply the STI to a Solterra with no power boosting performance modification at all, given how ordinary the base 215 horsepower dual motor SUV's acceleration is zero, is zero to 60 in about 6.5 mi- uh, seconds. Isn't exactly a slow, but it looks it looks it when you consider the Ford, Hyundai, uh, Kia, Tesla offer same size EVs that can get there in 3.1 seconds faster. I really, really do hope that they don't make this. I, I hope not. I really hope they don't make this. Please don't. Please? I'm asking nicely. Don't do it. Will it? Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're going to do what they want to do. Um, so it is what it is. We'll just have to accept this monstrosity. I hope not. But this is a concept from 2022. So they're working on something. I guess it says here, um, Subaru Salterra STI coming summer 2024, Japanese media reports. And this is the concept that they showed in the past. So we don't really want it, but we're gonna, we're just gonna have to deal with it. But hopefully not. Um, let me know in the comments below, would you want something like this, this full EV STI Salterra? Cause I sure the fuck don't. <laughs> they need to bring back the hatchback and bring back STI. I heard they were working on a new motor motor for the um, next generation. The STI is supposed to be like a hybrid system, but I'm not too sure how far off they are from that, you know, that whole thing. Maybe we'll know in about a few years from now, but you know, they discontinued the STI a few years ago because they wanted to focus on other things. Like I said, when it comes to EV, I think they should have started small with the Impreza hatchback EV maybe, and then go bigger as you're getting, you know, getting your, getting, getting all the kinks out, working everything out. But um, I, I don't want this. I hope you don't either. It's disgusting. That's all I got. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good one.